Hi guys, Terry here. We have a snowy, wintry scene today. Got a little bit of snow yesterday, a little bit more this morning. It's beautiful. But I am working on Christmas presents. Christmas is a week away, so I am making these Santa um, gift bags. I've got a few of them to make, and I um, want to show you how to on the um, Cricut software, um, it's got a spot here on the bag to put their name. So I've measured, it's a good 10 inches across here, and I figure I can make it about two and a half inches tall and uh, put their name on the bag. They're really cute bags, and I'm going to use my Cricut Easy Press to iron the iron on uh, vinyl onto the bag. It's a cotton bag. Um, I got these off of Amazon. They came in sets of three. Um, it's a pretty good size. So let me show you in the software how we're going to put the kids' names. And then we will cut it on the little Cricut Joy. Using the new, um, they call it Smart, Smart Iron-On because you don't need a um, mat to put it on. The vinyl just gets fed into there. But let's take you into the software. Okay, so I've opened up the Cricut software and I am going to click on the text button and I'm going to type in my niece's name. And I decided to use the font uh, called So Fancy. I forget where uh, somebody suggested this, but for my niece, I wanted there to be a script font, and I thought this one was really cute. Um, notice in the software there is a there's an option for um, all fonts, system fonts, Cricut fonts, and then also there's a filter button here, and you can click on just my fonts. Um, there's many different options here, so. Um, if you go into Cricut, you can say the ones, the filter, you can say the ones that I've purchased. And if you go into system ones, you can scroll down. And it's nice that it shows you what the letters are going to look like. So, um, Gabriella, Gabriola is pretty too. And we all have different fonts on our computer, and you can download free fonts. So, um, I think I'm going to stick here with be so fancy. It's really cute. And I am going to go to the letter spacing here and make this be smaller. First off, let me make my... I want this to be about 10 inches wide. And I want the letter spacing here to be smaller. So I'm going to keep clicking until these letters overlap. And then we're going to weld them together. A couple more clicks. That looks really good. So I think what I'll do is make it even wider. Because I know I've got 10 inches to play with here. And I don't want it to be so tall for this space. So notice up here on the size. It says that I'm at 11 inches right now. Let's get that down to 10 inches. And then it's got it at 3.3 inches tall. I think what I'm going to do is click the unlock button here and just make it be, I want it to be 10 inches by two and a half. So there it's changing there at the top and two and a half. That looks really good. So now I'm ready to cut it. I'm going to, uh, first I'm going to save it, just so I don't lose it here. In case I have to come back to it. And then I'm going to tell it to cut, and I'm going to tell it to use my Cricut Joy. I have the Cricut Air and the Cricut Joy. So let me flip it to the Joy, and then click on Make It. And then this is going to send it over to the Cricut Joy, and I'm using the Smart Materials, which is this little sheet of vinyl. It's on a carrier sheet, so you don't have to um, put a mat in. So I'll say without the mat. And that looks really good on there. 
and I need to remember to mirror it because we're going to iron this onto the uh, cotton bag. So I've got it mirrored and I'm going to click continue. It's connecting to the machine through Bluetooth and then it's asking me to select which type of material. So I'm going to pick what's on the little package here. This was a little sample box that I bought and it had uh, three different colors in it. And I'm going to pick the Smart Iron On. And it says to make sure you've got the uh, fine point blade in clamp, and I do. And the machine is blinking. And it says to load it into the machine, so I'm simply going to push it into there. Now I had to look up that you put the sh shiny side down. Click and go, and now it should cut. Fingers crossed. It was loading in a little bit crooked, but it kind of straightened itself out. Okay, so I have cut my piece of vinyl, um, just the part that I want here, and now we have to weed the part. The other thing I've done is I've turned on my easy press. Um, we've got 100% cotton, and we're using the everyday iron-on. So I'm setting it the temperature to 340 and letting that heat up. So 340 for 30 seconds. So that'll beep when it's ready. This um, sheet I downloaded from the um, Cricut website. And now I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to remove all the vinyl that I don't want to iron on. So I'm taking off the pieces in between the letters and the big piece around the outside of the letters. And one thing I forgot to show you when I was in the um, Cricut Design Space software, um, I had to right mouse click and tell it um, to weld these letters. Otherwise, it'll cut them in little pieces, or it'll cut each letter individually. So I wanted the whole thing um, welded together. So you just right mouse click and click on weld. So now I'm just pulling the extra, the extra vinyl off. This is iron-on, so we had to make sure we, there the easy press is ready, but we had to make sure that we mirrored our image because we're going to flip this over to iron it on. And I am just pulling this, it's coming up pretty easy. I was using the Cricut weeding tool. Just want to check between all your letters before you start ironing it on, just to make sure you have all the little pieces out of it. It's easy to miss them. Okay, right, let's see what it looks like. Well, that looks really good. So now I'm going to iron it up best I can. I think what I'm going to do is warm the fabric first. And I have a Cricut mat 
underneath. And I'm just going to put this on here for a few seconds just to get the moisture out of the fabric. Plus there was a um, wrinkle in the, right in the middle of it. I'll get that out of there. So that looks really good. And now we'll put it, position this on here. So I'm looking at the space above and below the name. And then I'm also looking at the um, spacing to the left and the right. And that looks really good. And this plastic piece is the transfer. Um, I don't know that you need parchment paper, but I'm just going to put that down on top of there too. Looks really good. I'm going to put this on here and then I'm going to press the Cricut and my shape is actually a little bit wider than the machine here. Let me turn it this way. I've got that. Yeah, her name is just a little bit wider. Um, this is the original um, Easy Press. I think there's a larger one. I think there's a 9x9. But you can see the time counting down. And then what I'll do is I'm going to shift it over here just to be on the end of the letter over here. And then we'll lift this up and see if it's um, adhered enough. The nice thing about the easy press instead of an iron is that whole surface is the uh, right temperature that you want. So, but you could also do this with an iron. Okay. So before I turn the easy press off, I just like to see if this um, took or not. And it looks like I need a little bit more. See how it's coming up here? It's not quite on there yet. I think the other thing I need to check on is whether you leave it, um, if you let that cool before you remove it. No, it says warm peel. So you do peel it off when it's warm. So I'm just going to let it go again here. It's interesting, I'm looking at the, it's got a everyday iron-on, and it's got an iron-on designs. Not sure what the difference is there. Across the top, it's got the different, pro the different uh, Cricut products, and then down the side, it's got all the different uh, fabrics, and cork board, and you name it. So let's see if that got it any better. It's not coming off yet. Still a little warm, but it looks really good. So this was using the Cricut Joy. You also could use the, um, the larger Cricut machines. The Joy is nice because the um, the nice little rolls of vinyl that they have. Um, but yeah, this is this is working now that it's cooled. So my suggestion would be that you go by the go by the heat chart, but then kind of just pay attention to what your fabric is doing here. Because I think you'll know, see now it's coming off really well. I would say it's not an exact science, but that looks really good. I love that. I think she's going to get a kick out of that. So we're going to fill it with presents and drop it off at their front door. And I think they'll love it. Have a Merry Christmas. So thanks, guys. I'll have links on my website with the instructions of the steps that we went through and then links to products. So if you haven't subscribed, 
please subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand. Help me out there. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.